Dope Sports Talk Worldwide. It's news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Well, them Lakers did something pretty good. Lakers beat the uh, Houston Rockets in Houston. All right. Uh, it's a big win. You know, Houston is the best team in the league right now. Has the best record at least. And it's the team that you know is built to hang with the Golden State Warriors. Uh, this is a big win for L.A. It's one of the teams at the bottom, right? Young team working their way up. Uh, it's a huge win because it kind of confirms their form in terms of playing Golden State close, playing Cleveland close. Those are the juggernauts of the league. They played them all close and came out of there with a win in Houston. Uh, it's pretty good for a young team. So that's very significant. Houston was on a 16-game winning streak and, again, the best record in the NBA. So a big win, you know, especially, you know, when you got your boy um, James Harden doing James Harden things, you know, putting 50 on him, still losing that game. That's big. Kyle Kuzma has a career high with about 37 points, something like that. Um, so it's huge for the Lakers, huge for the league, showing some parity in the league. When you combine that with what else I think is significant, the Chicago Bulls, one of the worst teams in the league with the Atlanta Hawks. On a six-game winning streak. That's huge. The Bulls are running again. Right? And it's, you know, you don't, don't act like you know them names over there. The biggest significant thing you heard in Chicago lately was okay. Well, getting rid of Butler. Uh, your boy, um, uh, Dwayne Wade. Getting rid of them. And then in training camp for the league season, heard about the big brawl. Right? Portis and Miracic getting into it. Miracic's face getting fractured. Neither one of them gets, they get suspended, can't play at the beginning of the season. So they just have a horrible start. Nobody on the roster you really know except Robin Lopez, things like that, Valentine. You don't really know these guys, right? So here you go on a six-game winning streak. Miritic is back. Porter is back. You know, probably enjoying the game, really appreciating the game. And they're playing team ball because this is everybody, guys. Everybody, a guy that Dunn is over there doing his thing on the two-card position, but it's not names. So it's good to see a team like that on a six-game winning streak. It's real good to see, to see how it is going forward. The difference is once you get on a winning streak, then people uh, are not going to be taking you lightly. You know, that bullseye all of a sudden be on your back. You'd be like, man, we only won eight games. You know, back off. But six-game winning streak, good. Good to note. So, those are the huge news of, of the night. Might be some more, but I'm telling you, Lakers beating Houston is huge. Chicago Bulls on the six-game win streak, that's also huge. Um, so that was a not great night in the NBA just for those two factors alone. Done with Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.